Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Moaz Astor from Indusletics Private Limited and this is Engineer Mabomber. Indusletics is a company which is actively contributing towards digital transformation and industry 4.0. Today we are conducting interview of Purva Mehmet which is currently working in Unilever Tea Factory, Khanewal. Our marketing department has compiled a few questions which we want from our industry leaders to answer so that undergraduates and fresh graduates get benefit out of it. Okay ma'am, so my first question is with your permission. Why industries are racing towards digital transformation, dashboarding and paperless initiatives? Industries are, uh, what I think is industries are moving towards industry at 4.0 revolution for increasing the efficiencies, reliabilities and productivities. In terms of like sustainability, uh, the paperless is like more effective. Uh, uh, examples can be taken, there are a lot of critical points in uh, either any kind of industry, there is uh, FMCG or a power plant. There are a lot of critical points that need to be noted after a certain time duration. So previously, those all things were kept in a manual record and were like recorded manually by an operators. So it requires efforts, extra manpower, and also the records need to be maintained. So moving towards a digital transformation, all these points are like collected automatically, which requires less time, less efforts, and the keeping of the record is more easy. And also the extra manpower is not required. So this can benefit industries in a lot of senses. Um, thank you, ma'am. Next question. So ma my question is, what do you think digital transformation means in its true spirit? Transforming our industries in such a way that our efficiencies are increased, our like productivity is increased, and less manpower is required. So the main is like a view is we can operate our plan from a single touch by sitting in a control room. So my next question is, what do you think our industries can benefit from digital transformation in terms of financial and technical? In terms of uh, technical assets, if we are moving towards the condition monitoring, so we can take decisions uh, on the basis of that, we can take our financial decisions that can impact us financially. Another is uh, like we can monitor our breakdowns through the condition monitoring, which can save us from a loss. So this is the main like idea uh, behind this that can benefit us in terms of technical and financial ways. Thank you. So now my question is: Do you think digitization has the potential to improve system reliability, availability, and productivity? Yeah, that's why the world is moving towards. Uh, digital transformation. Uh, if I talk about uh, like in past days, we were monitoring our efficiencies of lines through manual calculations. So when the whole day is passed, on the next day the efficiencies are like uh, evaluated that what was the previous day's efficiency or after a, a whole shift is completed, this was the cycle. But now we are getting the efficiencies of our each line every hour or we can say every minute. So this is like more appropriate. We can uh, like uh, trace losses of our machines and uh, tracing the losses of machine. Uh, on the other hand, we can resolve the issue at the moment, regardless of moving on, uh, passing it to the next phase. Uh, thanks ma'am. My next question, which, is, which I think it is most important, what skill set? do you think Pakistan need to develop in order to support this ongoing digital transformation and how academia and universities can play their role? What I think is uh, the, today's students are lagging in technical terms like in our university life we are more towards the bookish uh, things. Uh, either like we are, uh, we do not uh, take this series that we should have hands-on experience during our university life. We can uh, do a lot, they can, like students can do a lot of internship uh, from where they can uh, like get experience that is required to have a job 
like a lot of students I uh, know complain about that uh, jobs are required uh, when you have experience. But you can get this experience from internships as well. So these internships can benefit the students in their technical aspects. So they would be knowing that what is happening in the industries rather than stuck in the universities and homes. And uh, if we talk about uh, academies or universities, I think uh, the academies or universities should update their curriculum according to the industrial revolution so that students should know what is happening in the world rather than what was happening 20 years ago. Thank you. So ma'am, what do you think? Is it by any means a threat to manpower or labor employment? Yeah, somehow this is threat to those manpower who do not have any skills. Like, there are a lot of uh, industries in which people are uh, deployed only for um, filling checklists, only for oiling machine. That person would not be required by a company when it is transformed into a digital thing. So, there is a threat to such kind of people. So, I think if they are already working in such industry that is moving towards a digital transformation, they can learn those things. So, company, I don't think so the companies will lay off the people uh, after the, this transformation. If a person is a skill set, they can uh, deploy him in another department uh, uh, according to his skill set. Uh, so, ma'am, my next question, which I think most of the people are looking for its answer. In your opinion, if we talk about some industry, there are few people who have mastered on a certain thing. Like if we talk about uh, previously they were using relay logic. So if someone is experienced in relay logic and he is earning the respect due to his knowledge, his expertise, and certainly, suddenly industry decided to move towards PLC's Industry 4.0. So how we can change the mindset of those people who consider their expertise the best and doesn't support this transformation? I think you have heard that there is always resistance to a change. Yes, so sir. these are the people in industry, those oppose those changes that are beneficial for the company. I think there is always room for improvement. Uh, the relay logics that were previously used in a person, those are experienced on that, they are still required by a company, but they can develop their skills on PLC. Like company won't uh, like lay off that person who is experienced on a relay logic after installing a PLC based system. They would train them obviously. So that resistance should be like uh, excluded uh, by those persons and they should like train themselves according to the industrial requirements. Okay, so ma'am my next question is your suggestion to university authorities to catch up with the ever-changing market trend, how they can train their students to compete with the market. I think there are a lot of universities who are already doing this uh, collaboration with a lot of companies that after graduation a lot of companies reach out to the universities uh, to hire their fresh graduates. Yeah, through career fairs. Exactly. So I think uh, this approach should be followed by every university. Ma'am, your message to undergrads and fresh graduates? My message uh, for fresh graduates or undergraduates would be don't waste your time in the books. Those are telling you about the 20 year pathetic Those are not being used now. So spend more time in your hands on experience rather than uh, like reading books. They would help you to clear your concepts. But uh, more time must be uh, spent, uh, must be spent in internships or your like projects rather than preparing for exams and problems. Uh, thanks a lot, ma'am. You have answered all the questions very well, and I am pretty sure that undergraduates and graduates will get a lot of benefit after seeing this video. Thanks a lot. Thank you.